Hello, sixth graders, and happy Thursday. It's going to be a great day of intervention today. Let's dive right into today's video about division word problems. I know you're going to do a great job, and so does Mr. Smiles. Let's look at our first word problem. Michael is baking peach pies. He has 464 peaches. If he takes five peaches to bake a peach pie, how many peach pies can he make? So I need to split 464 peaches into five equal groups. First, let's do our division. Where should I start dividing? With four hundreds, 46 tens, or 464 ones? I'm going to start in the tens place. How many times does five go into 46? Five goes into 46 nine times. After I divide, I multiply. What's 9 times 5? 9 times 5 is 45. When I subtract, I have 110 left over. I'm going to bring down my 4 so I can divide in the 1's place. How many times does 5 go into 14? 5 goes into 14 twice. What's 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. When I subtract, there are 4 left over. So I have 92 remainder 4. What does the number 92 stand for in this problem? 92 stands for 92 full pies. What does the number 4 stand for in this problem? It stands for 4 leftover peaches. So, let's answer the question. How many peach pies can Michael make? He can make 92 pies. The four leftover peaches are not enough to make another pie. Let's do another question. Jada works at a radio station. She has $751 to buy as many CDs as she can, and she gets to keep any money that's left over. If each CD costs $7, how much money will Jada get to keep? Here, Jada is splitting $751 into groups of $7. When I do this division problem, should I start with 700s, 75 tens, or 751 ones? I can start with 700s. How many times does 7 go into 7? Seven? 7 goes into 7 one time. What's 1 times 7? Seven? 1 times 7 is 7. When I subtract, there's zero left over, and I can bring down my five. How many times does seven go into five? Seven goes into five zero times. Zero times seven is zero, and when I subtract, I have five left over. I can bring down my one. How many times does seven go into 51? Seven goes into 51 seven times. What's seven times seven? 7 times 7 is 49. What's 51 minus 49? 51 minus 49 is 2. So the answer is 107 remainder 2. What does the 107 stand for in this problem? 107 is the number of CDs Jada can buy. What does the 2 stand for in this problem? 2 stands for $2 left over. So now let's answer the question. How much money will Jada get to keep? Jada gets to keep the 2 left over dollars. Let's do one more question. Together before you try a few on your own. Michaela made 253 panda cupcakes. She packs them into boxes that each hold 4 cupcakes. How many boxes will she need to hold all of the cupcakes? Michaela is splitting 253 cupcakes into boxes that each hold 4 cupcakes. Where should you start your division problem? With 200s, 25 10s, or 253 1s? Here, you should start dividing in the 10s place at 25 10s. I don't have enough hundreds to split them into 4 groups. What's 25 divided by 4? How many times does 4 go into 25? 
4 goes into 25 6 times. What's 6 times 4? 6 times 4 is 24. When I subtract, how many are left over? 1 10 is left over, and I can bring down my 3. What's 13 divided by 4? How many times does 4 go into 13? 4 goes into 13 three times. What's 3 times 4? It's 12. When I subtract, how many do I have left over? 1. The answer is 63 remainder 1. What does the 63 stand for in this problem? 63 stands for 63 full boxes of cupcakes. What does the 1 stand for? It stands for one cupcake left over. So, if Michaela wants to hold all of her cupcakes in boxes, 63 won't work. There would still be one left over. I have to add one more box to hold that leftover cupcake. So the answer is 64 boxes. Remember that when I solve problems like this, I can either keep my quotient, use my remainder, or add one to my quotient. Let's try another. Kimani is making lemonade for her lemonade stand. She needs six lemons for each pitcher of lemonade. How many pitchers can she make with 418 lemons? So, we're splitting 418 lemons into groups of six lemons. Go ahead and solve that division problem now. The answer to the division problem is 69 remainder 4. So, Kimani can make 69 full pitchers of lemonade, with four lemons left over. What's the answer to our question? How many pitchers can she make with 418 lemons? Here, we would keep the quotient. The answer is 69. Elijah and Tyler planned a field trip for the school. 207 students went on the trip. They traveled in vans that each held eight students. How many vans were needed to hold all of the students? Well, 207 students were split across vans that held 8 students each. Go ahead and solve that division problem now. What's 207 divided by 8? The answer is 25 remainder 7. So there were 25 full vans and 7 students left over. How many vans were needed to transport all of the students? 26 vans were needed, 25 full, full vans, plus one more van for the seven extra students. Let's do one more. Christiane is opening a new real estate business. She has $702 to buy newspaper ads. Each ad costs $5. How much money will Christiane have left over if she buys as many ads as she can? So... How many groups of $5 are in $702? Go ahead and solve that division problem now. The answer is 140 remainder 2. So 140 adds with $2 left over. What's the answer to our question? How much money will Christian have left over? Here I would use the remainder of 2 as my answer. Now you try a word problem. A flower shop needs to send 525 checks to the bank. If it can send six checks in every envelope, how many envelopes will it need to send every check? It will need 88 envelopes. When I divide, I get 87 full envelopes with three checks left over. So one additional envelope is needed, is 88. Let's try another. A sports team has $530 to buy t-shirts. Each shirt costs $9. How many shirts can the team buy? Go ahead and answer that question now. The answer is 58. The team can buy 58 shirts. When I divide $530 into groups of $9, I have 58 groups of $9 with 8 left over. That means I can buy 58 shirts. The eight leftover dollars are not enough to buy another shirt. 
Let's do one last question. A baker has 311 cups of flour to make brownies. He needs four cups of flour for each batch. He will use the leftover flour to make a batch of cookies. How much flour will he use for the cookies? The baker will have three cups of flour left over. So the answer is three. You've done a great job with this video. Now go to IXL, select fourth grade, and go to skill E9. You're going to do a great job.